Hey everybody, it's Brian here. I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to my channel. So today's episode, I'm going to be discussing a few very important elements that you should be taking into consideration when creating your visuals for your advertising campaigns or indeed for your social media posts in order to get people to know a little bit more about the designs that you're creating to try and hook them in, to get them to come over to your shop and hopefully to make the purchase. So if you'd like to take your social media posting to the next level and grab the attention of potential customers to get them to come over to your shop and make the purchase, well, there's only one thing left to say. Let's get to it. Okay, so welcome to my computer screen and as you can see here, I've got a color chart up on screen here just to give you an idea of just how important different colors can be in your advertising campaigns uh, when you are creating your posts for social media or effectively anywhere that you wish to put up an advertisement, be it in digital format or hard copy format. And as we can see here, we've got white and black, which um, are two very important colors that we can use in our advertisement. Obviously, white is associated with purity, light, clean, sterile, innocent, and spaciousness. The mood that evokes is cold and unfriendly, but then balanced with black, where black is associated with power and mystery, elegance, evil, mourning, and death, the mood can be also confident and calm, stable and mysterious. So when we're balancing out these two together, it can really be an effective color tool for our particular advertisement campaigns. And then if we want to inject a little bit of color um, against the black and white as an example, then we've got the color chart over here, which obviously gives indication as to what moods and what associations each color is associated with. Now I'm not going to read through them all because obviously it would make this video very long, but if you want to pause and take a screenshot at this moment in time so that you can actually have reference to it, by all means go right ahead. So when we think of these big brands like McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Nike, and all of the other ones out there that really vow to grab our attention in their marketing campaigns, color is a very important component in their marketing strategies. And even for us as small time business owners, we need to make sure that we are using color to our advantage to grab the attention of people. In every advert that we see, some form of color is used and it is chosen for a particular reason. Different colors will elicit different feelings. Some cold, some sad, some mysterious, some joyful. The importance of selecting the right color is extremely important when trying to get your message across. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at a few components of marketing and what you will notice throughout all of these samples that I'm going to be showing you, at no point in time am I going to be using the word buy or purchase in these particular samples. These are advertisements that I obviously created with the help of an amazing platform called Placeit. If you don't know how to use Placeit, I'm going to leave a thumbnail up on the screen here which will show you um, the video that I created in terms of how to go about using Placeit and I will also leave a link to that video in the description box below so that you can go ahead take a look at how you can use Placeit not only in terms of creating advertisements for your designs but you can also use Placeit to create designs for your print on demand business. It is an amazing tool. I highly recommend that you watch that video after finishing this one. Now, in terms of the first sample that we are seeing here in front of us now, this sample is obviously showing the importance of composition. This refers to the placement of the element in your design and will help draw the viewer's attention to the most important aspects of the design, which could be a call to action or to evoke an emotional response, something that will stick into the mindset of your viewer. Now, if we take a look here, uh, we've got this model here. So she's sort of evoked a bit in darkness. You can't really see her face. The design is slightly shrouded, so you're wondering, hmm, what does the whole design look like? There's a curiosity factor. And then as we move across to the right, we have very few words in bold. Obviously, the colors that are chosen is going to contrast really strongly against the black background. And all we have here is new design available online. And as we get a potential customer to stop scrolling through their feed, be it on whatever social media platform you would have your designs on, for them to stop and take a deeper look, more often than not, in addition to looking at the graphic, they're also going to take a look at the description or the comments or, or any kind of text that you might have 
tagged on with this particular design so that that is where you're going to hook them in further and encourage them to visit your shop in order to get their hands on this particular design so the composition of the design is very very important you just don't want to you know stick your design on a mock-up and smack it straight dab in the middle and then obviously say buy me or purchase or whatnot you want to give people something to look at something for their eyes to feast on you want to take people on a visual journey when they are looking through your advert okay so the next design element that we definitely want to make sure that we keep into consideration pertains to the rule of thirds now for those of you who might be into photography and design you already know effectively what it is that i'm going to be speaking about but for those of you who are new to print on demand the rule of thirds is effectively where you take a three by three grid and you're superimposing it onto your canvas and where the points on the grid intersect those are effectively the most important parts of your visual that you want to make sure you have the most important things surrounding that particular area let me show you what i mean so we've got this design over here and i'm just gonna superimpose the grid here so we've got our three by three grid here and the circular points over here where the lines intersect is effectively where you want to have the most important components of your visual so here we've got the design overlaying and crossing over two points here on the gentleman here and then we've got the other design obviously in the area of the female mock-up over here so that when people are actually viewing it again it's taking them on a visual journey so we're just going to go back over here and turn that one off so as you can see here Again, we don't have a lot of text here. The composition is nicely balanced. So we're utilizing the rule of thirds and it is going to be something which people are going to enjoy looking at as opposed to just sticking your design on a t-shirt and smacking it on a white background or a colored background and just putting it up on our social media posts and hope that people will actually stop and take a look. So another important part of creating an effective advertisement is creating a story creating a journey that you are going to be taking your potential customer through so that they can enjoy the process of looking at your advertisement. Now, if we can see here, we've got you know a male and a female wearing new shirts. They're very happy, they're smiling. It's probably the summertime when this photo was taken. So the caption is, let the good times roll, new summer fun designs. That's all we stated. And obviously that will also stoke curiosity on the part of customer to say, okay, new summer fun designs. And obviously there are more than these two that are being shown here on the graphics. So let me go into the person's uh, shop link and explore a little bit more. And once you have them in the shop, then obviously the, there's a greater likelihood that they're gonna find something that they like. Obviously if your designs are good enough and they're captivating enough, and then people might actually stop and actually click the add to cart button and make the purchase. But you can't get them to your shop until you get them to stop at your advertisement, at your social media posts, so that they can take a deeper look, evoke that curiosity within them so that they can stop and take a look. And then you can actually get the advertisement to do its job in getting the customer to click on the link to your shop, explore a little bit more and hopefully make the purchase. Okay, another component in a good piece of advertisement for your social media posting pertains to the focal point. Now here aspects of the visual could be blurred out so that the viewer's eye is drawn to a particular area of clear focus. Or again, you can actually readjust aspects of the photo so that you can make certain areas pop and other areas a little bit dimmer. Another thing that you should also consider is that if you are using real models or if you're using mock-ups of models, you want to be mindful of the body language that is being portrayed by the models. You want to make sure that the body language is actually going in line with the message that you're trying to evoke on the design that you're trying to sell. Determine what message that you want to send out in your visual so that you can search for an appropriate photo to emphasize that message. Okay, so now if we take a look at this particular advertisement, the, the, the themes or rather the messages that are portrayed on these designs obviously is to combat, you know, sea pollution. 
plastics being dumped into the sea and whatnot. Now we've got two very interesting designs here, stop the plastic pollution and keep the sea plastic free. So we've got two very important messages that could resonate with a potential client. And the fact that the sheets were blue on the mattress that these two female models were lying on, obviously ties in very well with the, obviously the association of blue for the sea, the climate, the environment and whatnot. And then in terms of text, it was very, very simple, bold text, one in red, one in white, so that obviously would contrast really nicely against the blue. Join us, link in the bio. Now they might say, join us in what sense? Do you have a campaign going on? So people are gonna be curious about that. They'll take a look at what text you have in the description. And in addition to that, you could also include some text to obviously encourage them to spread the message to others to you know become a more plastic-free society by purchasing one of these shirts wearing it with pride as they walk through about their business on a day-to-day -day basis so that people can see it, spread the message, and hopefully in turn buy a shirt too as well, or obviously take that message to heart and obviously, you know, curtail how much plastics that they use. So again, the visual aspect, the focal point, the type of text, the colors that are utilized in a particular advertisement is so important. And again, if you notice, nowhere do we see the words buy me or purchase now or visit my shop or whatnot, okay? We want the designs, we want the text in the advertisement to hook the potential customer and then we'll allow the text in our descriptions to get the people over to the shop and hopefully make the purchase. So the next design element that we want to make sure that we are keeping in mind, again, takes into consideration the type of topography that we use. Now when we talk about topography, effectively that means the type of fonts we are using. You want to be mindful of how much text you are putting into the design so that you can keep the design balanced and obviously it's not going to overcrowd the design so much so that people will just give up reading all of the text and bounce to something else. Too many lines of text can be detrimental to an advert. It can also be overwhelming to a potential client, particularly if they are scrolling through on a mobile device. Too much text will keep everything looking very small and people just don't have the constitution, the patience or the time to want to read through all of the text. So try to evoke a good balance between visuals and text to create an engaging experience for the viewers. So we take a look at this particular visual over here. So we've got this lovely model over here who happens to be in an amusement park. And I thought to myself, well, amusement parks, one tends to find roller coasters. So I grabbed one of my designs pertaining to roller coasters. And the fact that she was smiling and she's got this confident and enjoyable look on her face, I thought, well, you know, people who love roller coasters, why not showcase it on a shirt that they can wear? And then the caption for the advertisement, again, as you can see here, ready for fun, wear it, love it. So here we are engaging the potential customer, particularly those who actually love being at amusement parks, riding roller coasters, say, wow, you know, I would definitely love to wear something like that. I'd love to have this kind of design. And through this advertisement, they can then take a look at the text, obviously find the link to the shop and hopefully they would actually make the purchase. And again, you also want to make sure about the composition of the photo. In this particular case, given the fact that it is an amusement park, the background is blurred out because it is very busy and we do want to make sure that the focus of the customer's attention is on the shirt and obviously on the caption to grab their attention, to hook them in. Now, the last design element that I want to share with you pertains to the bandwagon pressure. Now, in this particular style of advertisement, you want to evoke a sense of urgency where the potential customer might not want to be left out given the fact that everybody else is making a purchase. So in this particular case, we just use a simple caption, don't miss out. As many of you know, platforms like Redbubble like to create sales. So when obviously you are informed that a sale is going to be held on Redbubble, that is a real important time for you to start creating social media posts such as the one that you're seeing over here and start pumping them out on a daily basis, maybe two or three times a day. Don't use the same advertisement, create different ones, but effectively you want to let people know that, hey, there is a sale going on on the Redbubble platform, in my Redbubble shop. There's a sale going on on my TeePublic shop. There's a sale going on in my Zazzle shop, in my Spreadshirt shop. I mean, whatever platform that you are selling on, when that company is running a sale, that is the time for you to want to gain more sales because the more sales you gain, 
even during a sale, the better it is going to be for your design to start climbing up and ranking higher in the various search on the various platforms. So don't think of a sale as something, oh, I'm going to be losing profits because that's going to be eating out of my profit margin. Take a look at the long-term benefits that you're going to get by selling more of your designs during a sale. Now, as you can see here, we got one of my designs here. I just want to soak up the sun and drink slushies. And obviously, I obviously included the type of sale and the duration of the sale. This is very important information that you also want to include in your visual so that obviously people will be aware of it and there will be a certain sense of urgency for them not to miss out. And if you took notice of the color of the background that I selected, obviously given the fact that it is a summer design, I went onto the color chart that I showed you earlier on in this episode. I sampled the orange color that was utilized in that color chart and obviously I utilized it as the background color and the text that I used in terms of the color was black and white so that it would contrast against the orange. It would be clear enough for everybody to see irrespective of whether they're seeing it on a tablet, computer or mobile device. And hopefully this would be enough to get people to stop scrolling, take a look at what the text on the design is and learn a little bit more about what the sale is and maybe get them thinking to jump onto the shop in order to pop over and make the purchase. So there you have it everybody. As you can see, we took a look at seven really important elements that you should be putting into practice with respect to the visuals that you're creating for your social media posts and advertising campaigns. Guys, gone are the days where it was just enough to download the mock-ups from platforms like Redbubble and just put them up on social media on a white background and get people to stop and take a look. People have become very immune to them. There really isn't that much to get them to want to stop scrolling and taking a look. You want to create a visual journey. You want to create a story. You want to create something that is going to grab the attention of a potential client, of a potential customer to want to stop, to take a look and hopefully to come to your shop. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hey, do me a favor, smash that like button. It does wonders for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please smash that subscribe button, click the bell notification icon. Help me to reach 3,000 subscribers by the end of this calendar year. I'm working really hard to provide you all with as much great value as I possibly can to help you take your print-on-demand business to the next level. But for today, that's all I've got. And as always, be safe, be well, be creative. Bye for now. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to find out more ways that you can take your print-on-demand business to the next level, why don't you check out one of these two episodes I have over here. And don't forget to subscribe. Catch you in the next episode. Bye for now.